Uh, thanks so much for tuning in to BQ Conversations. I'm your host, Neerat Shah. Uh, real estate sector um, and, and, and the revenues that have come out and, and the results that have come out in quarter two, rather, you would argue have been mixed. And there is, of course, a bit of an anomaly around how to read into the numbers because what is reported is materially different at times from what has actually happened in the quarter due to the reporting rules that have come about in the last couple of quarters or the last three quarters. However, on the reported front, Brigade Enterprises revenues were up about 17%, YOY to about 879 crores, strong growth in hospitality, leasing segment, and uh, steady growth in real estate as well. The question is whether this is the kind of mix that could continue, or could there be a blip after a fairly strong growth in the real estate vertical in the last many quarters that the company and the industry has seen? Mr. Atul Goel Johnson to talk about that. Mr. Goel, great having you. Thanks for joining in. Uh -huh. Thanks, thanks, Neeraj. Uh, the pleasure is, of course, ours in having you. And can can we start off with the real estate piece? Because there, Mr. Goel, uh, we're starting to. I'm not saying you're seeing chinks in the armor. The sales numbers are still looking strong. The growth rate is tapering off a little bit in select circles. What is your experience of what's happened in the last quarter, and how are the next couple of quarters looking? Uh, see, last quarter, I'll say uh, the quarter was at least. 20 days short because of the shrads which are there and where people don't uh, buy the property. So that is one of the major thing. And that's why Q2 is always subdued in any year if you see. So Q1 versus Q2, if you see year uh, quarter on quarter, generally Q2 is lower. So that is one of the reason. Uh, demand, I think, is there in the market. Uh, there's, it can be specific to the market, but where we are present in South, demand is there. IT, ITS is doing very well. Consolidation is playing a very major role. And uh, affordability for the customers in uh, Bangalore from affordable index, if you see that is EMI over their salary, from 48%, it has come to 38 or uh, 35%. So people have a lot of money. In fact, in Mumbai, where you are, there from 93 percent it has come to 75 percent so salaries have been or income has been increasing a lot and, and that is where the uh, investment in housing is coming and pandemics has of course made everybody aware that if you have to uh, have to buy a house this is the right time uh, so i think demand will be there uh, bangalore is one of the highest sellers uh, there was a report from uh, one of the brokers and they said uh, bangalore did the highest sales pre-sales during uh, during half year. And of course, uh, Chennai has been doing very well where we have been expanding very, very fast. And Hyderabad has also been uh, doing well uh, because the price rise in Hyderabad has been significant there. So uh, real estate overall, I think uh, there is a uh, there is a demand and it should continue in coming quarters as well. And that shows in the launches which all real estate developers are doing. And, and which will probably show in your launches as well, because the expectation is that what you will do about, um, if I'm not wrong, the number about 13 odd million square feet over the next four quarters. Yeah, four to five quarters. Yes. Okay. Uh, what price points are selling? Because I remember a conversation with you wherein you had mentioned that your price point is right around that affordability segment, not low cost housing, but affordable housing. Yeah, are you income. looking? Are you yeah? Are you looking to have a larger portion of your launches in that segment only? Or is it becoming slightly premium because the affordability is moving up? No, it is both. I think uh, uh, we are into a middle a mid segment as well as a premium. You can say I'll not say luxury, but a premium housing. That is where luxury also we are launching. Like in uh, Chennai, we launched uh, uh, WTC uh, Chennai residences, and it has sold it every every. Uh, uh, uh residences is more than two and a half crores in chennai and it has sold very well it's a uh we have a wtc chennai besides that we have been developing so we are doing residential like uh, we'll do a, a high scale residential in mount road where we have taken uh, land from tvs so that is there but our bulk of the inventory is in premium and mid-income uh, housing and both are doing very well if you see the uh latest report for nanorock 67 to 68 percent of sales all over india is in mid-income or uh, premium housing so we mm -hmm. are mainly at that we'll also have some plot launches 
which are going to come in this uh, quarter. So we have both plots, mid income and premium housing, which are going to come uh, uh, in this uh, four quarters. Got it. Uh, Mr. Goel, would you believe real estate reckon, I mean, while real estate will continue to be the bedrock, the alpha and growth that is coming in from hospitality or the steady occupancy in office portfolio is adding that bit of sheen because hospitality, we see pure play hospitality companies or real estate companies with the hospitality portfolio, all of them are showing exceptional results. You reckon this run rate can continue for you? Uh, so I'll put in two things. Real estate will continue to be the stable. It is going to be there and 70% uh, of our revenue comes uh, from there and it's going to be there. Uh, hospitality, I think, should do very, very well in next uh, two, three, four years. I don't know how much because see this hospitality business or uh, results, what you're seeing is only on the domestic travel. International travel has not yet started fully. You have not seen that much uh, people coming uh, uh, internationally or traveling internationally. Uh, inbound travel i'm talking to india so i think uh, hospitality is going to do very well in next uh, two three years see what is the difference is that you have returned to your ars ars still uh, we have returned to our ars but some hotels are still trying occupancy has returned uh, only issue is that your cost which were then in hospitality before has been trimmed down permanently so whatever hospitality which was working, say at uh, uh, 20 or 30 or 40 percent of uh, revenue today is working at 25. Uh, so that is where the change which has bought in uh, bought by the pandemic, where people are more efficient in operating hospitality because hospitality is one sector which had borne the maximum uh, uh, problem during uh, pandemic. So so hospitality going forward should do well. We in fact we are so much uh, uh, positive in hospitality whatever construction we had stopped during covid now we are restarting it again start building the hotels again okay uh well your your net debt position has improved materially so that should hold you in good stead you reckon with all of these expenses that you will do which is that 1.3 million uh, uh square feet launch uh, uh that that you plan to have for, or the hospitality sorry 13 mil 13.2 million yeah. square feet launch that you yeah. plan to have or the hospitality uh, investments yep. that you would do, will they uh, impact the net debt ratio for you? No, not at all. Uh, hospitality, we had already done structure in Mysore. We are doing, uh, now we are doing the finishing, though only 40, 50 crores is there. So that is not much. Uh, in residential, see, we are very clear. Uh, we have been launching for last two years and we have not taken a single loan in any residential uh, project. We have been trying to use the project uh, cash flow cycle to do the construction, and we have been successful in that. I think if the sales continue the way it is, we may not be required to take any loan uh, in uh, residential, but it all depends upon the market, how it behaves. But we are very confident our residential uh, uh, loans will be low. Okay. Mr. Goel, um, uh, one, one question really. Uh, from where you were in 2020, I reckon due to the pandemic led demand and otherwise, the growth that has happened has been material uh, in the last two, two and a half years. Now, add now, but that is real estate. Now that there is real estate plus hospitality plus plots, which of course are part of real estate, but I'm just saying plots as a separate business plus leasing and office spaces getting occupied, et cetera. From where Brigade is right now, what's your sense of uh, what the size could be three years out. Because a lot of people say that real estate cycles, when they turn, they turn for a period of five, seven, eight years and not just for two, two and a half years. So do you believe we're in the midst of an up cycle? And if so, from where you are, where would Brigade be three years out? I think it should, uh, our revenue should multiply by two, three times. That is what things, see, we are seeing 20% increase in real estate. Hmm. So uh, we will see tw uh, two, three times. No, I'm, uh, it says 20% in real estate is what we think year on year. So that tend to amount to around 40, 50% of uh, pre-sales what we are doing today after three years. Uh, so we are at uh, uh, say 4.5. So we should be around 8 million, 7 to 8 million sales, which we must be doing in after three years. Leasing, we should be at 750 crores 
or uh, say 900 crores by that time. So that will, when everything would have been leased and of course new leasing will also start coming in. And hospitality uh, revenue has been there around uh, 350, 360 crores. It can uh, further improve on that demand, depends upon how much addition we do uh, in, the, in the hospitality portfolio. But I think it's a very good sign uh, leasing if the SEZ Desh bill comes. I think leasing will be very fast in all SEZ all over India. So that is a much difference which is going to happen. Uh, there is uh, some issue in US because of the uh, because of the uh, recession what they are talking in US. So companies are still uh, daily dallying on the closure of their uh, of their leasing. But if the Desh bill comes, I am very I am sure that all our my leasing portfolio will get leased in five six months. So we are very confident, uh, and revenue uh, will start coming. So that's a very big time. I am not taking your capex because as and when the leasing happens, uh, as and when real stake stake cycle goes up, we can invest more in land. So so yeah. that will catapult again uh, to a good revenue where uh, the brigade can reach. So final question: uh, the estimates are uh, that. In terms of value in rupees crores, you could be around uh, three thousand six hundred on in FY twenty three. Would that be a good estimate? Yeah, it can be. See, and, and again, again, I'll tell you uh, the difference is again the revenue accounting. Hmm. That is real estate. What you were talking about AS one one five. So you, it all depends how much registration you can do. Uh, and then you can account for revenue, but I am sure we'll definitely do that. And and so okay, so roughly between let's say three thousand to three thousand six hundred dollars yeah. that you do, let's say in FY twenty three, you reckon there is a fighting chance that you may reach up to seven thousand odd crores by FY twenty six. It is possible. It is possible. Okay, it is great. possible. Well, we certainly hope it happens. Because, um, please, yeah, please. I'll tell you. When four years before the market capitalization of this company was 2,500. Today it is 12,000. So company has done very, very well. And I think it should do very well uh, in coming years as well. Okay. We cross fingers uh, for that, Mr. Goel. Thank you so much for speaking Thank to you. us today as well. And all the best for the quarters ahead. Thank you, Neeraj. Thank and you. And viewers, thanks for tuning into this conversation.